Hello, my name is Chang Yun Kang. I'm a, a director of the um, Center of uh, Oncology in the National Center. It's a great opportunity. It's it's great uh, opportunity for me to represent today uh, my center. Let's start our lecture. First of all, uh, allow me to speak about the policies and current condition of the uh, healthcare system in Korea. At the moment, our population is about 51 million people. And uh, because of the uh, low uh, birth rate and, uh, great, uh, and the population is very aged, we have increased uh, aged population and oncology disorders. This effect uh, can be seen if you look at the life expectancy figures. At the moment, you can say that in Korea, we have very high life expectancy among males. Uh, it's uh, over 80 uh, years and uh, 83 for women. And for, in uh, 2030, we expect uh, Korea to be the most aged uh, country in the world. On the other hand, the uh, uh, expected uh, lifespan uh, of healthy population is not something that we expect. So people over 65 uh, with uh, different disorders and malignancies will be even uh, bigger in number. Cancer is a uh, cause of death number one in my country. Uh, mobility continues growing, and uh, the next um, is uh, cardiovascular. The next cause of death is uh, CVDs, and uh, I would like to say the cerebrovascular diseases. They uh, continue declining. Uh, the first uh, reason of death or cause of death this year has become pneumonia, which continues its gradual growth, and uh, a number of suicides go up, um, uh, continues de um, decreasing, but uh, still it is it has quite a big place in the, within the structure of cause of death. Uh, 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 hospital death and uh, home death uh, follows with uh, some significant difference between them. When it comes to the resources of health care of Korea, I should say that this is the country with relatively high hospital beds per capita, which is approximately a second after Japan in the world. Diagnostic uh, equipment such as CT, for example, uh, is quite big in number. Hospital care uh, is quite long. Hospital stay is quite long if compared to other countries. Healthcare expenditure, if compared to the general GDP, accounts for 7.6%, which is somewhat lower than in other countries. And the avoidable mortality uh, coefficient is approximately 103 uh, people per 100,000 population, which is standardized rate. 100% uh, of all uh, citizens of Korea uh, are entitled government health insurance, and there are certain um, uh, on, uh, uh, certain um, uh, nosologies which are not insured. Uh, people also resort to private insurance companies. This is a uh, number of cancer incidents in Korea. The uh, official statistics uh, start, uh, was started in 1999, according to this register. Uh, mobility continues growing in Korea. The increased number of um, cases or um, growing mobility um, doesn't change drastically. The um, darker color is thyroid cancer. The peak of mobility is uh, 2015. Since then, we continue the trend towards a gradual uh, reduction. Cancer incidence rate in Korea can be seen as a median rate uh, or uh, of the um, uh, of the uh, oriental countries and um, if compared to russia we have a difference approximately 100 people if you look at the age uh, peak of mobility then you will see some uh, difference between male and female patients uh, the first is um, lung cancer, then colorectal cancer, stomach cancer, prostate cancer, liver cancer, and thyroid cancers. This is uh, exactly the uh, uh, the most popular, the, the most uh, widespread cancers. If you look at the thyroid and prostate cancer, they grow in number. In uh, female, uh, thyroid cancer rates first, 
then uh, breast cancer fo follows, uh, colon cancer, stomach, lung cancer, uh, liver cancer, and then pancreas. With the exclusion of the uh, uh, colon and uh, stomach, this, uh, the trends continue growing. Survival in cancer in Korea is quite uh, high. When it comes to advanced forms of cancer, then uh, if compared to other countries of o OECD, uh, the um, survival is uh, pretty good. Uh, allow me to speak about the comprehensive uh, treatments of cancer uh, in Korea. Uh, we uh, started our, uh, we, we released and published our fourth plan uh, starting from uh, 2010. These comprehensive plans of um, uh, uh, governance, uh, they uh, cover quite wide spectrum of different questions, uh, starting with how to combat the, the disease and how to treat it. Initially, we drew such plans every uh, 10 years, and starting from 2016, uh, we uh, revised them every five years. Uh, these comprehensive plans were b based upon the law of um, combating cancer and First and foremost, we uh, set up the National Oncology Center, which functions as the um, uh, Department of National uh, Healthcare System. And uh, the law of the National Oncology Center was uh, um, uh, called off, and uh, it started to be part of the general national law on healthcare system. Uh, it, co it covers the national uh, strategy of cancer control, uh, so it's Cancer Control Act. And within the third stage, we also uh, revised our policy, which at the moment uh, we try to um, continue developing at stage four. Allow me to speak about prevention. When it comes to prevention, I should first start with uh, smoking uh, cessation. So if we uh, start uh, looking at smoking, then men, uh, smoking men uh, were approximately 45.1% uh, and women 5.3%. So at the moment, we have very active policy of uh, um, smoking cessation, and at the moment, uh, we reduced uh, smoking population among men to 35.8% and among women to 6.5%. And at the moment, we uh, we increased the uh, the uh, cigarette duty, and we also created the national foundation for um, health promotion, through which we uh, finance a number of different national projects. In addition to this, we continue. Uh, our comprehensive policies, we uh, start our call centers for non-smokers, and we also continue our promoting campaign, such as posters and leaflets. Uh, to um, prevent cancer, we set up 10 main um, uh, recommendations on cancer prevention. And starting from uh, 2007, we started our national campaign or National Cancer Prevention Day, for example. Starting in tw uh, from 2014, uh, we started providing basic vaccination for free, including hepatitis B. Uh, girls starting from uh, 12 years uh, of age are provided with a uh, HPV vaccination for free. And uh, we also revised 10 codes for cancer prevention, and we started new uh, policy, not only for cancer prevention, but also for uh, cancer regime control. When it comes to the 10 action codes of cancer prevention, we usually look at the habits as well as the environmental factors, which uh, most uh, frequently can uh, cause uh, cancer in Korea. Also, we provide PR and uh, um, raise awareness among the general population. This is uh, done by uh, different leaflets, uh, brochures, and uh, video trailers. And uh, also, we published a booklet uh, covering different prevention, um, basic uh, prevention um, measures for different uh, cancer, t types of cancer. National Cancer Registry Program was initiated uh, before, even before the National Oncology Center was set up. Uh, in 2004, uh, the Central and Regional Cancer Registry Center uh, was organized all over the country. We also surveyed uh, the uh, uh, disease rate, and uh, in uh, 20, 
1907, we uh, started uh, the cancer incidents in five continents, uh, volume 9, and in uh, 2009, cancer register statistics within two years, which actually allowed us to see the situation uh, for Korea and all over the world. In the frameworks of the third uh, comprehensive plan of uh, anti-cancer plan, we also additionally provided a service which shows the status of uh, mobility by um, cancer types, which also uh, is, uh, has a GIST system. This is a geographical registration system. I should say that cancer screening is one of the paramount um, things in uh, prevention. Uh, the, the, we uh, have stomach, breast, and cervical cancer screening. Uh, we uh, base our activities upon uh, screening guideline. Uh, we started uh, to look for liver cancer, to screen for uh, liver cancer in 2003, and for colon cancer in 2004. There is also a second plan, uh, which was uh, initiated in 2008, and also uh, revised and update um, guideline on lung and thyroid stomach cancer allowed us to bring down the can cancer rate significantly. The uh, guideline on lung cancer was um, related to the pilot program on diagnostics on the third uh, stage uh, between 2016 and 2020. And starting from 2019, we also initiated the col colonoscopy uh, pilot project as uh, the diagnostic modality for uh, colon cancer detection. Korea is the only country which has six diagnostic programs of cancer screenings, and uh, the government pays 100 percent and for 50 percent of population with low income. And the rest uh, population also uh, pays uh, 20 percent of uh, all this um, uh, of this diagnostic uh, diagnostic uh, measures. The National uh, Cancer Screening Program uh, takes into account the age groups as well as the um, uh, frequency of screening programs. Uh, initially, the coverage of screening programs was very low, but gradually uh, it reached 69.6 percent of population. At, in different countries of OECD, we have different parameters of screening programs, but, su but such stunning growth of screening programs cannot be marked anywhere. Thanks to the uh, increased and uh, comprehensive screening programs, we detect a lot of cancers at early stage, and also the share of in situ cancers. Uh, thus, we increase uh, survival great, uh, greatly. For the financial support and funding in Korea, we have insurance companies. This particular uh, and also a uh, number of services are paid by the general population of Korea. Approximately it is 20 percent of the whole um, budget for treatment. And at the moment, we have a gradual uh, reduction in such expenditure up to 5 percent. And for people with low income, we also provide financial support as in within separate program. Apart from that, uh, the um, high precision medical service also provides the insurance for um, funding for NGS. That means the basic sequences, uh, the basic sequencing for of new generation, which is also uh, funded by the uh, national uh, insurance program. And Helicobacter pictor eradication is is also uh, fully funded by the national insurance policy. At the moment, uh, the fourth plan uh, revises the uh, budgets and funding uh, th through medical insurances, health, uh, health, me uh, healthcare medical insurance, and also we have greater number of survivors. The survivorship uh, means that they survived for over five years. This accounts for 57.8 percent. Uh, and also 10% one year and 9.1% uh, between one and uh, two years. Uh, if the uh, patients survive uh, cancer, we need to provide different uh, types of uh, help and um, assistance because uh, sometimes they suffer from psychological problems. And starting from uh, 2020, uh, 20, not only the national center, but also the regional centers are affiliated to the uh, national uh, uh, cancer program, and uh, uh, also this is a pilot uh, platform for uh, govern uh, governorship and uh, service provision. When it comes uh, to the 
cancer survivorship support program, we need, first of all, to raise awareness among those uh, people. And in June, we provide such programs and um, organize events at the uh, state level in order to raise awareness and educate those who survived cancer. We also organize hospice and uh, palliative care program with incurable uh, for incurable patients and also to improve the quality of life of their families. Starting from 2003, we understood that the, pro the such program is needed um, within a uh, separate program of hospices. And uh, later on, we organized um, inpatient, inpatient hospice care uh, fostering program. Uh, starting from 2008, the hospice unit designation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare and the uh, hospice inpatient team at pilot program uh, was uh, initiated in 2009. In 2015, hospice and palliative care and LST determination act was uh, legislated. And starting from the uh, 2016 as well, home hospice pilot program was started. So the hospice and, and the pediatric palliative care pilot program also was started. A great number of home hospices um, uh, at the moment exist, and also hospices for pediatric palliative care. Thanks to all these institutional programs back in 2010, quality of death in Korea, um, it, it was 32 out of 40. But uh, according to Economist, five, five years uh, later, uh, it uh, was already 18 out of 80 countries. Mm, uh, patients' care also uh, gains international recognition at the moment. Hospice and palliative care units are dis um, scattered all over the country, but in some regions uh, uh, they are still in deficiency if compared to the number of population in need. Oh, we uh, try to uh, develop this program. At the moment, we use narcotic analgetics, which are approved by WHO. And uh, the oncology, for oncology patients, not only in the light, uh, late stage diseases or terminal diseases. You can see the graph showing uh, how we use um, narcotic uh, um, an analgation in our country. And uh, you can see that since then, the use of such narcotics has been ever growing. For example, starting from 2017, uh, there was a program in, uh, started, which was, um, uh, first of all, um, about quality of life improvement um, and use of uh, painkillers. So Korea, one of the uh, countries of Asiatic region uh, that um, has stable use of uh, analgesia and uh, narcotic analgesia uh, for this uh, population of patients. Uh, if you look at the infrastructure at the moment, the National Care Center, uh, this is a unique, um, uh, 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 completely unique setting with a great number of R&D projects, uh, research institute, hospital, as well as the National Cancer Control Institute and graduate school for postgraduate students. This is the only national oncology center in the world which carries out all the four functions. That is why we formulated not only IARC, International Coalition of, um, but also NCI, National Cancer Institute, for the fundamental research, which is approved by WHO or IARC. This is an organization for uh, current control of cancer. And uh, we work with a number of organizations and uh, oncology centers uh, all over the region. We continue strengthening our international cooperation, and uh, we invest a lot of effort in order to uh, expand our business on um, controlling na uh, cancer diseases, not only within our national oncology centers, but uh, trying to work as a myriad of different oncology centers all over the country. We try to set up our, our own um, management um, management program and thanks to regional and national uh, cancer centers we will improve the quality and also allow better access to screening and uh, treatment of cancer as well as improving opportunities for um, uh, access to palliative care when it comes to the um, community 
and informing the community, we uh, set up the National Cancer Information Center, which works alongside with the National Cancer uh, Institutions. It's website, uh, printed materials, uh, social uh, networks, call centers, animation, and different campaigns. It started working uh, in 2007 in order to provide precise and verified data about cancer. Apart from that, in the frameworks of Concept Big Data Platform, we have a pilot structure. And uh, at stage four, we plan to manage the National Center uh, data uh, database. This registration of onco uh, oncological um, diseases as well as the data of hospices, uh, screening programs, also information about the treatment from every hospital. Everything comes within the national statistics of cancer registration, as well as the countries uh, the database from different countries, which all comes within one uh, cancer big data platform, which allows us to uh, work on guidelines. Uh, thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation, and thank you for your attention.